Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a get ready with me because I don't ever do these. But I have all my makeup laid out in front of me that I use and I'm gonna be doing a look I did last night. Um, I'm sure you saw it on the thumbnail, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for the primer that I use, um, that I have been using because I've been having a lot of acne problems is the Cover FX um, Acne Treatment Primer. It has silicone but not that much. It looks like a silicone primer, but it's not that bad. I like it because it's been helping me treat my acne recently, and that's why I've been using it. Okay, so while that settles in, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes. The palettes I'm gonna be going into is my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm only gonna be taking one of the glitter shades, um, this one right here, for my inner corners. And then I'm gonna be using a requested palette to look on is the Morphe 3502 palette. Um, the colors in here are so pretty. I did a, um, a video on this kind of, like I just showed you guys what it looked like. Um, but before I can get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. Um, the I don't use a lid primer, I just use the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my lids, because it looks better in my opinion. So I just put like a decent size amount on there and then I'll take my Real Technique sponge and just blend it out. Okay, and then to set that um, concealer, I use the Rimmel Linen Stay Matte Press Powder. Um, this is in the shade Transparent. I'll just take my big fluffy brush, my BH Cosmetics um, V1 brush, and just tap into it and then just set the lid. It helps to prevent creasing. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow. I'm gonna start with my Morphe M441 brush. I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance palette and go into this lighter shade up here in the corner just for a base. I forgot I did that yesterday. And so, as my transition shade, I'm going to go into this shade right here in the corner. All right, and I'm going to use, use the same brush. So the next shade that I'm going to be dipping into is, um, as a chin or a crease, I'm going to go into this color shade, this one right here. It looks really dark, but it really isn't. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild crease brush. Alright guys, for the next shade, I'm going to be dipping into this, um, it's kind of like a darker orange shade, it's right next to it, this shade right here, um, I'm going to dip into it lightly because I just want to darken up the crease a little bit and like blend the two shades together to make it look seamless and to kind of give it a little bit more definition and stuff like that too. And I'm going to add it onto um, the inner corner and kind of, kind of blend in a little instead of going all over and just mixing the colors together because then it kind of won't look right. But I'm going to put it on the end and kind of blend it up into the crease. Okay, 
Okay guys, and so for the shade that I'm going to be taking on a different brush, I'm taking this small concealer brush that I got from a, I think Sephora bag or something like that. Um, I'm going to be taking this orange glitter shade right here on the lid, and I'm going to be using some um, MAC Fix Plus. But I'm going to put a layer down first before I put the MAC Fix Plus because it... If you put a layer on first and then you put the Fix Plus like with it on the brush, it kind of makes it pop a little more. So that's what I like to do. I just take a little bit on the brush itself. I tap off the excess and then I just put the small layer on first. Now using the same brush, I'm going to take some Matte Fix Plus and spray it on there and then dip back into the palette. You're not supposed to do that, but I do it anyways. Oops. Alright, and then I'm going to go back with my Wet n Wild brush and take the both. I'm going to mix the, um, the orange shade and these, I'm going to mix these two shades together to blend out the orange sh orange glitter shade. <laughs> Okay, and then for the inner corner, I'm going to be taking my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be going into the shade uh, Vermeer, this kind of gold shimmer shade right here. It's going to go, I'm going to be using a Morphe M560 or M560 brush and I'm just not going to use any Fix Plus because I just don't think it needs it. Okay, and then I, for mascara, the mascara that I use is the mascara, duh, it's, it's mascara, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, This is the full size. I own the mini one, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to... Okay, and then for foundation, the foundation that I've been using because I'm so pale is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Shell Ivory. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice foundation. I think it's full coverage because I do have redness like right here and like all around my nose and it does cover it up really nicely. Um, sometimes, yes, I'll have to do um, several layers just to get it to look, to cover up my redness, but I don't mind. I guess it is a kind of sheer to medium coverage foundation, but since I have barely any acne, I don't really think it, I need to layer it on like some people do but I mean everyone has a different preference and that's just the preference I use so I just take my Real Techniques sponge and just blend it out okay and then what I use for concealer is the same thing I use to prime my eyelids is the Tarte Shade Tape um I got the shade fair but I just take it a little under my eyes a little goes a long way guys I learned that in the video that I filmed um testing this concealer out. I used way too much and I had, I look like a ghost after that. So um, down towards my cheek area. Cause I like to have like my whole bright, I like to have it brightened like right here in the corner. And I like to have it like down here brightened a little too. That's just my preference. I don't know what anyone else's preference is, but um, I just think it looks better that way in my opinion. And then the powder that I use to set everything, Rimmel London powder, and I'm almost to pan. If you look like right here, I have like almost hit pan, but I'll just use my my big brush and I'll just tap like tap. Okay, and so for bronzer and for, okay, I contour with the Hula bronzer and then I'll do my bronzer with this Essence Sun Matte, Sub, Sun Club Matte bronzing powder. It's like this big pan. Um, so I'll contour with my Hula bronzer. So I'll do that first. 
I'll use my um, bronzer brush from BH Cosmetics. It's the V2 brush. It's a nice brush for contouring. I'll just take a little bit because I know how much pigment that this bronzer is. And I can't see anything right here, but that's okay. And then I'll take the same brush and go into the Essence powder. This powder is really big. It's really nice. It was three bucks. and. This is the Too Faced Papa Don Peach blush. It's really pretty and it smells like peaches. I absolutely love this powder. I'm probably really close to hitting pan on this powder on this blush, but um, I really enjoy it and I use it when I do looks like this. And then the brush I'm going to be using today is the Wet n Wild powder brush. I like to use the powder brush because it just glides it on. See, it's just like I just. I just love it. It's just so. And then some of my other brushes that are like more stipply kind of put it on like chunky. And this brush kind of just kind of glides into the bronzer. And I just like the way it looks. It just gives you like that nice peachy look. So for the highlight that I'm going to be going into today is this one. It's from Makeup Forever. It's their uh, Starlit Powders. And this is this shade. The brush I'm going to be using to apply it with is the Morphe Y14 brush. This is from their Gilded collection. This would be with the Anastasia Brow Gel. This stuff is so nice. Um, I've been using it for a while. I thought I lost it, but I didn't. And it works. Add some brow gel. And then um, the lipstick I'm going to be going into or wearing today is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Holy Chick. I love Two Faces packaging. Their packaging is so pretty. Um, I've had this shade. This is the first lipstick I've ever gotten ever. And I don't have any like orange shades to wear today to go with the look. So I just chose like this nice nude. Okay. And then for setting spray, the setting spray that I absolutely love to death that I'm going to always repurchase until she stops selling it is the Kat Von D setting mist. This stuff is so freaking nice. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's so refreshing. But yeah, guys, that is today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it um, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching.